What are we doing? We're going to Flacco's. That's right, guys. He said we're going to Flacco's. So, by the way, welcome back to another video. Today's an exciting day because I don't know if I had told y'all or not before, but we had told y'all we had a little delay. Oh, no, it's way too windy out here. Hold on, guys. It's cold. It's windy. Yesterday, we were in t-shirt and shorts. Not today. Today, it is cold. Hold on, guys, because I look a little dark. That's right. So if you're from Houston, you know that yesterday you were wearing a t-shirt and shorts, maybe some slides, some Crocs or something, some tennis shoes. And today, we're covered up from head to toe because it's cold and it's windy as hell. But right now, we are heading to Flaco. So uh before the giveaway ended we were like you know what guys we need to get more stuff done to the truck so that's why we ended up extending it not upside from the wheels which everybody didn't like the idea with the wheels everybody was like nah just keep those wheels just keep those wheels so right off the back drop a comment down below let me know should we keep those wheels or should we swap them i don't know fully yet because there was like a bunch of mixed emotions about the wheels you know what i'm saying so right now me ulises my dad pollo and ab we're getting ready to head over to flacco's performance because we wanted to get more stuff done on the single cab truck and that's exactly what we're doing we're going to flacco's performance we're going to let him go through the whole truck uh we had a little issue you know what i'm saying Como que estaba muy acelerada, and we just want to get it right we want him to tune it put his expertise on it and get it right and then my boy Pollo ended up getting some work done on his truck over by the guys at Velocity. Some little head work, a bigger cam and stuff like that. And uh, we wanted to get all these things to dress. We wanted to get all these things situated. Ooh -wee. And uh, and go from there, guys. If you hear a lot of wind, it's because it's windy. Check out the door behind it. Well, it was moving right now. We got doors flapping left and right. Look, we got a trash can that just came out of nowhere. I don't know where that came from, but damn, my baby sounds pretty. But yeah, guys, right now we're on our way to Flacco. So y'all stay tuned. We're about to pull up. We're about to meet up with my boy Pollo off of I-10 in the Bellway and head over to Dayton to go meet up with Flacco. All right, guys, so before any of that, I do want to buy some stuff. I want to buy some spark plugs just in case he might need them. So that way, you know, we ain't got to be going back and forth. So we got the TR6 spark plugs. They're cheap spark plugs, but that's what's recommended for this 6 old truck. Uh, my boy Monkey told me to go ahead and get these and put them on there. So we got them already. We're on our way back to the shop. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Napa is literally like a minute away from the shop. And uh, I, I was just wanting to get them because, I just wanted to get them because I didn't want to be out there and then Flacco would be like, hey, you need new spark plugs or something, which I doubt, but I was just like, you know what? I'd rather be cautious, you know what I'm saying? Better safe than sorry. So, right now my dad and Ulises are at the shop. They're uh, hooking up the trailer uh, to my diesel truck just in case. It's a 40 minute drive from here to where we're going. And we're gonna meet a boy right now. So, just in case. I know a boy's been having some issues with his fans. And just in case one of them goes out or something like that, God forbid that happened, we'll load it up on the trailer and take it with us. So, man, just listen to this baby purr, guys. Well, it's a 35 minute drive. I've done worse with less than a quarter tank of gas on this truck. That's how you know they're running out of those Red Bulls wherever you're from, huh? Yeah, you can't find them anymore, man. Yeah. <laughs> you want the whole case. OAB, man, he took care of it. Compro todo el case, we. I'll take one. Okay. 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 I thought you were coming by yourself. I was gonna say that way. I mean, I just picked everybody up. No, nah, well, we brought the truck in the trailer just in case. Oh. All right, so I don't know if y'all heard me because it's so windy out there, but. But boy, and Amy put us on to these, uh, these drinks and uh, they're pretty damn good, guys. I need to try them. They're called what? Juneberry? 
Yeah, Juneberry. The Sea Blue Edition Red Bull Juneberry. I don't know. They're good though. So now we go to Flacos. All right, guys, so we just put up to Flacco's performance shop, and uh, unfortunately, he's not here right now, but uh, we made the appointment for today, so we're here to drop off the vehicles. We're gonna hand over the keys to somebody that's here, and then uh, go from there, so so let's get it, guys. Let's get here, let's drop the trucks off, and let's go about our business. How was the drive? Good. Little weenies? How, how, how was the drive? Badass. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I was falling asleep, but. I didn't even know if we should go fast or slow. I was just like, because I didn't know how yours was tuned or anything, you know? I mean, it was cool. It was cool. It was good. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a nice little ride. Well, we're here, guys. We're going to drop it off because he's not here. So I guess uh, we'll send him a text with all the info and everything, and then we'll go from there. I don't know. We saw something like, well, it's because I had my, my fifth wheel under there, but it had the Vogue tire. They put the tire, the tire cover, yeah, so that yeah. won't stain the. That's what, that's what we were thinking. Oh, that won't stain my, yeah. Uh, my top, my wheel. Esto siempre piensan de todo, ya, güey. A mí me hubiera valido madre yo le hubiera echado ahí. Vámonos. Hi guys, so we ended up getting all the way over here. It was a long drive, about a 40 minute drive, huh? Yep. And uh, we got both, what do you call your truck? The SS clone? They call it the clone. The clone? <laughs> so we got the clone, we got the giveaway truck, and we're over here at Flacco's Performance, as y'all can tell. Unfortunately, he's not here right now. He had to go do a parts run, but uh, we don't have a lot of time because they got an appointment with somebody, and then we got, we got customers that are going to the shop here in a little bit too, so we're gonna have to head back. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop them off. Like I said, Ulises, was smart thinking he's like hey, let's hook up the trailer just in case you never know it's a long drive uh fortunately though everything was good so flaco if you're watching this we're gonna leave the trucks right here bro uh call us when they're ready i guess yes sir let's go all right guys so we got the call from flaco i called my boy pollo ab they all showed up real quick that was actually pretty quick guys i ain't gonna lie oh, yeah. and now and now we're on our way to flaco's in the big body <laughs> Oh, that, that little that little saying has always stuck with me, bro. Never rise lose your homie. Hey, wey, qué chingados estás invitando toda la gente, wey? ¿Eh? Porque estás invitando todo el mundo. Hey, the dog, no, no, por el otro lado, wey. The the little bush no, bottle. <laughs> sí, ya ya me senté yo. No wey. Oh, some brush, I guess. Es como un stick. Stick wey. Oh, se, se, no, se, 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 se quiere no, peinar no, la barba, wey. <laughs> Nah, that shit, that, you seen that shit on TikTok, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I bought that shit because of TikTok, bitch ass, and that shit don't even work. I mean, it's okay, but... It's okay. Hey, 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 but the day he bought it, they put a hashtag TikTok made me buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna post it, I was gonna make a video, be like, Man, this bullshit ass brush, this shit don't work. And do a, a product review. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Be like, man, that product, that fucking shit, it was ass. Water, see that with water? I feel good. The, the, the new and improved water, no glasses, you know? Ah, damn. I'm stuck, fail, but I don't. I say a little hello. dork. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I should just spend that money on something else. Huh? No, it's like a brown el corazón. He wanted to glow up. Oh, so oh, the corazón. Yes, so it's a little bit of 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 Moco? Tres flores. Blue. Gas to be glue. Tres flores? <laughs> <laughs> I changed it up, but right now I use gas to be glue. Nunca se hace el de Ico? Huh? Ico? Yeah, fucking man. Ico tiene Ico Boost? Yeah, todo tiene que ser Ico. Ay, Ulises. I'm gonna ask you how to get Ico Boost. Four games? Four games? That's a four, this is like a, a Camaro. Mm -hmm. That's yours right there? Yeah. Ira, Ira, Ira. Ooh, you got spanked, bro. Like a whip reduction, you got a bad attack for more traction. 
That's why ¿Ya acabaron niños con sus juegos? No, ese güey sigue su papi. No, es, que, es que lo estamos enseñando a cómo... ¿Cómo tunear su carro? ¿Cómo tunear y cómo... ¿Qué carro tiene? ¿Qué carro tiene? Challenge, challenge. ¿Y tú? Yo un Mustang. Yo ando en la Dodge. ¿Qué dices, Chef? ¿Dodge patas? La Dodge patas. <laughs> yeah, I, had to, I had to sell a C10, güey, porque no puede... I don't know how to tune it. I couldn't tune it. They would just spin everywhere. Yeah, I want to see y'all fucking pushing buttons and asking a fucking thousand questions. Please. Hey guys, so we just pulled out to Flacos. I don't know if he's here. Did y'all see him? Nah, but the guard dog's right here. Two C. Get up. If assholes could fly, this place would be an airport. That's bad as I am, bro. That's fine. Oh, he's back there. We're about to run away because of the guard dogs. Oh, no, but I just took a pedal. But don't deny it. That's not. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. I don't know how to get this one. Yeah? No, this one. This one? This one? This one? This one? Oh, yeah? No, this one is the one who always came out happy from yesterday. No, 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 no,
So in those says I'm like, oh, fuck, I gotta, I gotta, well, I gotta buy new boxes. Uh, those are the older boxes, so I gotta buy all the brand new boxes, which is like another five grand. I'm like, all right. So updated. Yeah, it's, they want you to update it. They don't sell you nothing of the old stuff because they want you to buy all the new stuff. Yeah. Which is fine, I get it, you know. So. Yeah, it's like my plasma table. Every time the roller is on the run, they want to sell you all the newer stuff, and it's yeah. like, yeah. man, well, hold on, the old one still works. Yeah. Just, I just need these. All right, that's fine, we'll sell them to you. Yeah, yeah. I always want to upgrade you. It's 3800 just to upgrade it. Oh, like, yeah. I'm ready. Really, but this one, like I said, I, I, I drove it around, I cruised it around, everything. Uh, it sounds better, too. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, it does. You know. Man, this, was, this thing was shaking like a motherfucker. It was like, yeah. like bad. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different. good, it's nice and stable. Uh, and like I said, all that, you know, when they start like camming really, really hard is because the way they, they do the timing tables. Yeah. Personally, I don't like them to be like super goddamn rowdy, porque después en una, en una light, it'll be jerking. Yeah. yeah. You know. Uh, so right now, once I do arm the nitrous, does it do the... It'll, it'll do the same, same thing like it was doing? Yes. Okay. It'll still do the same thing. Or lower the timing and all that it, stuff. It does. It'll, it'll still oh, okay. do the same thing. Okay. It's the... No, you and, uh, the motor base first. Correct. The nitrous comes in later anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Uh, you, you always start off, you know, if, if your engine tune-up is not correct, well, your nitrous is not going to be correct. So your your nitrous, your engine tune-up is fine, well, then everything else just kind of goes poorly. You know? uh, I'm just trying to figure out how it was like 80 degrees over there, and it's like 55, 60 over here. A little windier over here. <laughs> Bro, it's cold. Uh, this one, como te digo, este, yo la prendí fría, completely cold, and I, I adjusted it and everything, and uh, it did pretty good, so. Uh, Ya no está, no se apaga when you're on, on the, when you come to a stop or anything like that. Cool. Yeah, that's what it would Yeah, I mean, it does it, and like I said, it only does it on the first one, and sporadically, every once in a while, yeah. it'll, it'll do that. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, I mean, that would have been more, six, seven, eight times, and I had to sit there, sit there. Yeah, ahorita no le toca salir, pero just kind of, you know. And now it sounds better because before you couldn't even hear that. Yeah. It was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, so he'll camp. Yeah. So it sounds better now. So, el cable lo moví, the throttle came, tenía una big pain, so it was making it a little hard. That's harder. why it was hard. It's a little softer, but. But yeah, yeah. Not, shit, a little softer than a big upgrade because it's yeah. it was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly, like I said, it's a lot of the out of table stuff. And honestly, if uh, if you could control the uh, the uh, the throttle body blade a little better, which que no estuviera tan acelerada, well, then everything actually works way better. Yeah. You know, so cool. Because uh, then you'd be able to idle it down to like 800, and then it'll be way better when you go in gear and stuff like that. But I mean, other than that, cruising. Full throttle, everything, I mean, feeling. Yeah, it works good. Yeah. I mean, for what it is, it feels good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it don't help it that it's on heavy as wheels, but. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, overall, I mean, it, it, it did pretty good, you know. Hell yeah. Well, shit, there you have it, guys. Our boy Flacco. We did the appointment with him a while back. Uh, he told us what date. On that date we came, we dropped it off. He took care of us, and now both trucks are running perfectly fine. Before we would turn on the truck, we had it at CoStars, we had to turn it on like four, five, six times before it would actually start turning on. Right now, he turned it on. And it works. You turn on the AC and it stayed on. Before it wouldn't do that. Before you man, you'd have to da, 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 boom, turn it on again and then get it warmed up, warmed up, and then finally take off and it would work. You get to a complete stop or something, it would shut off. It would work fine without the AC on, but now it's working even better. So I'm about to take uh I'm about to take Boyo to Gapple Bees right now on the way back. <laughs> I'll make sure he has his nitrous bottles off. You wanna tell him? Right Boyo? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take you to Gapple Bees right now, right? On the way home. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Nah, I think Pollo got it. Nah, he has to have the the the, the nitrous off though. Yeah. Have it off, might not. We'll find out. We'll find out right now. <laughs> comment down below if y'all think we should do it. Even though we're still gonna do it, right? Because you know, by the time y'all we see the comments, it'll already be done. But yeah. Yeah. might have to take Pollo to Gapple Bees right now. <laughs> You see what I see back there? Yes, and it's a it's for this one. Yeah. Oh, it's for this one. Yeah. So you're running a Coyote with a Turbo yeah. 350? Yep. Yeah. Holy shit! I just so I went yesterday to to go get all the fuel lines. I go pick up a tank. Uh, I've been watching. And just go pick up a bunch of stuff you're though. Knocking but, out, you're knocking it out quick. I've been watching some of your videos. Well, I want to have it ready because I want to go to Florida next uh, end of next weekend. Damn. Yeah. So right now the only oh, thing. Oh, they're having a show out there too. Yeah, Freddy's gonna be out there at the minute. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanna take it. Is it gonna be all motor? Yeah. 
can that, I put no supercharger in a... Maybe later on. Later on. Static Dad told her, hey, you want to go out there? And I was like, nah, so I got too much stuff going on to go out there right now. So maybe uh, I was talking to Russell yesterday because I went by Russell's también. Mm -hmm. I had to go pick up the pump gears and uh, the sprocket for it uh, and a posi unit. Because I'm not in a posi. And I was talking to him because they had one that me a maroon one. Yeah, yeah, they just finished it. Yeah, they just finished it. And uh, I told him, I said, well, how much is the blower? That was so much, this and that. Uh, I'm like, man, I'm fucking tempted. I said, right now, right now, he's like, you need to leave yours all motor leaking for now. I said, probably later on, I'll buy, I'll buy a blower and just put maybe like eight pounds of boost porque para lo que la quiero, burnouts and cruising. Just maybe eight pounds and it'll sound real good. And it'll fucking look a lot better. That's what he says right now. And the next thing he you knows, it'll be a full-blown wrist truck. Well, it's already got, I mean, I already put a Holly, like a nice pump, number oh, okay. eight line. Gotcha. So it's got a full fuel system. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to run it on E85 and with a Turbo 350. Wow. So I'm waiting on the transmission for Juan. And then the converter should be here, maybe end of this week from Circle D. And uh, the flex plate también. So nice. once I get those, I'll put that, get a dry shaft done. The wiring's mm -hmm. already pretty much done. About 90% done, and then I can hopefully fire it up. Maybe the maybe this weekend. Man, but know. the things about these trucks, bro, look at the room you have. Well, once you put that on, like, but you have to redo the whole front, you have to redo a bunch of stuff, huh? Well, uh, motor mounts and everything, but the frame, yeah, so the only thing is, I took it all apart because no stop being out. So I done painted everything, paint the whole frame, um, quitar todo esto, pintarle todo. I did change shocks, I put some badass shocks on it. Uh, Acá enfrente le tuve que cortar varias chingaderas. And this is a factory uh, 2014 Mustang radiator, which is the same as uh, the motor. motor. Mm -hmm. Radiator, fan, reservoir. I'll be able to run the factory upper and lower water hoses. Uh, just basically all the factory stuff, though. So I was like, if I need something, yeah, of course. Sure. I just yeah, go to a and be like, hey, I need something for my 2014 <laughs> Mustang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes when they come back and forth to the shop oh, yeah. to try to figure out yeah. the hoses and the angle. Yeah. And it's going to run on Holly. Yes, it's on Holly. Yeah, it's on Holly. And I, I did the uh, 102 throttle body on it, so I got the Motion Raceworks uh, adapter for it, and then I put an LS throttle body on it. Oh, it's going to spin on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to spin on that. So I know the converter is like a... I think Chris. I think Chris says it's like a four thousand or forty two hundred. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. So, Pisoncito, that's how the one step motherfucker locks up. Shit, let's go. So it's gonna be pretty good. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I keep frente. I'm almost completely done. So the only thing I gotta do is just uh, make some make some brackets from here to here. That way I can hold it. You remember how we did the engine stand? We did a, a trailer with an engine stand for the radiator and we had a little plate right here. Yeah. So that way if you ever change the radiator that was a little bit wider or shorter, he could just change it up from there. And this one, the way it fits, like on the front end, the, the grill area is like perfect, perfect like right there. But remember you had some brackets right here? You took, you end up taking those out, right? The original yeah. ones that were here? It was right here. Oh, and these are the ones you made? Yeah. Well, it had another one that ran on top and had like an X and all that stuff. So oh, I took yeah, it yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. This is where the front end mounts on the sides and then everything over here on the sides, of course. Um, Man, it looks good. It's sounding really nice. So, yeah, but it's it's once you put the clip on, the fenders come down like the inside fenders come right about right here, cool. and everything is just like. So you just see right the boom. The, you just see the, the yeah. yeah that. And and you can put the front clip the way it is now, like complete, entra todo, y se pone ya. You ain't gotta move anything. Hell yeah. Nah, it looks good. I like what you did with the doors and everything. Yeah, this so just came came pretty good. And then the patina stuff. That was the original idea. You need that patina clear? Yes. So did you, did you rub it on? No, the I think it's a Nico. Oh, okay. And Nico sprayed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. He said, let's just go ahead and spray it because, I mean, honestly, it'll stick better than. Then, because yeah, it's a little yeah, rough anyway, though. So. Yeah. yeah. To get uh, onto the yes. little cracky, the pores, the pores you took, Phil. That's that Poppy's, right? Poppy's yeah. patina? Poppy's patina. Yeah. So I, I, I sanded it down as much as I could, you know, just to kind of get all the roughness off. Mm -hmm. Because it, it was kind of like this, you know, so. Yeah. So I sanded it down, washed it with Ajax and everything, and then I took it to. To, uh, Johnny Carpenter, he did all this stuff. He did the print striping, a couple other small print stripes here and there, and then I picked it up and went straight to Nico's, and then they did all the the clear on the it. Coating. Yeah. So I mean, it, I like it. It came out. It changed the color. It went darker. Darker. Because it was like this. So it, it really looked. It really, you know, came out badass though. Yeah, Where did the truck come out of? Where did the truck come out of? Local. Man, actually, I bought it on the other side of I-10 right here. Oh really? Yeah. So it's not too far. I was actually looking for like a 49 or 53 Chevy. Okay. Because I really, I really like the window, mm -hmm. and uh, so I was, I was looking for something like that, and I found a couple, and it was just the, the truck itself. I'm like, well, fuck. I'm like, I gotta spend another 12 grand on the frame, mm -hmm. and then put it together, and then 
brakes and then this and that. Yeah, it and, came back too. And yeah, I'm like, well, hell, I'm like, fuck, you're already twenty five thousand in it. But when you got it, it was running, huh? This one, yeah, I mean, it it was done, <laughs> running, and when I took it to uh, yeah, Freddy's, I, I, I had just there. I had just it's bought it like a couple days ago. Like, kind of so entonces, it was all done. It was a good price. I'm like, you know what? I'll buy it. So I did, and then of course I already had the plans to do all this stuff anyway. Yeah, it's, it's coming out beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful truck. So it's coming out pretty good. So, I mean, it's, it, it's going to come. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Comment down below what y'all think about this truck. Coyote, Coyote Powered International. Nice. So, guys, let's stop taking away this man's time. Let's uh, take care of business, and we'll catch y'all at the shop right now. Or maybe some fun runs. Who knows? Hey, I'm still trying to me van a venir a me van a venir a robar.
crewmen don't get a lot of appreciation, you know. So shout out to me for filming. If I get if I get sick, it's on Roman. Oh, because we needed to get the good shot. The big thing is that like we stop the bitches to be like, like you know have a like this is getting set and eat them, but it rides really cheap, dude. That bitch fucking move. Hey, that bitch fucking. That bitch went on you, huh? A little bit. It's, right? I, I, I don't know if it's the tires or what, but it, it kind of has a little... I don't know. I don't know if it's the tires, but... Where you had a, you had a PSI on the tires, you know? I don't check it, bro. I didn't tell lights like pollo. I can't handle nitrous. <laughs> I needed to pull over and open that bottle. That's what I needed to do. <laughs> oh, that you opened it? Yeah, but it didn't have none. Oh, shit. You know, the That's the one, first, the very first one? The very first one I took off. He took off on me. It had a little bit. After that, first hit. No way. I didn't know he had the nitrous on though. <laughs> but I was over here, I was honking, I was like, he was took off. <laughs> I tried catching up to him, but I, it was gone. And you can throw that one at nitrous because he burned off. Yeah. And then uh, I think the second one. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. It's not bad for all motor. No, that's good. Well, I told him. I that's never, right him. Remember, I said, so, give me the move. Before, when we would race, like, it was like. Yeah, like, and this time, it's like we would take off and it was like pulling on him. But that one feels way different now. Way, way hey, different. You can hear that shit though, Nasty. You, you can hear it actually, uh, that le no, the air leaking. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can hear like when you park it, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And before it was like, blah, 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 like real loud. Yeah. And like right now, I, turned, uh, I got here and I put it on park and you can hear it. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can hear the can before you could hear that. I think no more we used to shut off? No. no. I didn't do that at all. That's why on the freeway, when we're in traffic, I would go, whoa, and let off, whoa, and it wouldn't turn off. So. Hell yeah. One, he's like, hey, give me the hit. We were on the phone though. I said, all right, fuck it. And he's like, go. He, he took off, and then I took off. But still, bro, it's like barely, like it ain't nothing crazy. We like barely passing them off. That was dope. Oh, that one dead. on a from a forty before I was gunning, and it was it would take off, but it was like <sighs> this time I, when we were leaving, I gave it like half throttle, and I felt it like squat down. I was like, oh shit. I was like, that's a big difference. But it's like the overall drivability, bro. The overall drivability. Guys, go get two by Flaco. Ah, uh, yeah, then now the overall drivability of it, it's like, you would drive it before and you're like, ah, boom, you'll hear the gears like kicking in real hard. Man, right here, it's like you're driving a stock, well, I mean, obviously it's loud or whatever, but it's like the gears kicking in is like real nice and smooth. It, it was pretty dope. I'm looking at him right now. Yeah, yeah, look at him. Pro drop band. Hey, wait, your shit is loud too, eh? Yeah, it's loud. It's too loud. And the only reason I wanted, I went louder was because remember Mondo? I ah, put it louder, put it. So I went and I got it louder. I was like, man, hell, that shit is too loud. Yeah, too loud. God damn, you're not waiting to wonder or what? Oh, it hurt. <laughs> I hurt that shit. That's still like you know, hit so a God damn, bro. All right. Yeah, I'll be chilling. Stay <laughs> with Shit, you didn't take him with you? Nah, I left him here for your dad, but I walked in and your dad just wrapped him up. <laughs> so I was like, shit, I'm with that. Oh shit, hell yeah. Well, that's probably like, man, where the fuck y'all been? So we had to take uh, Pollo to Gapple Bees, you know what I'm saying? But nah, you can't compare it though. So that's a uh, 5'3 with heads, cam, you know, basically every, all the, the rest of the supporting mods like fuel pump, injectors, or whatever. But this is a 6 hole, so you can't really compare it, you know what I'm saying? And he has 432 gears, I have 373 gears, so on the freeway or whatever. It's, this one's better on the freeway, just overall. But, guys, it's good to be yours. Little Flaco Tune, badass motor by LC, badass training by Horns Transmission, badass dip by us, suspension by us, paint by uh, my boy Brian at Insane Motorsports, the interior. Guys, we will be offering interior work here at the shop upholstery anything that you want just like the guy that did the interior on this one is the guy that's going to be out of our shop now he's going to be located here so we're going to schedule him in for a few months and he'll go back to florida schedule him in again so if i need any upholstery done or anything like that make sure to swing by the shop he does amazing as you've seen the seats the stitching the pattern everything looks dope and then if you want anything custom embroidered we can do that too so it's a little chilly guys we're about to go inside the shop we'll talk in there all right guys so we go in the video right here don't forget that the giveaway truck is live you can go to our website www.thesetup.biz go copy your merch we got some new keychains coming out uh one that y'all have been asking for that my little girl made i'm gonna order some i'm gonna post them on there and feel free to go cop them so with that being said guys hopefully y'all like this little video we will get more content like this coming up 
we do have a little surprise, a little build that we got going on for the shop. Something y'all can see at the shows. Para hacer un desmadre, you know what I'm saying? Vamos a ir a loquear, vamos a ir a... We're gonna go cause some drama, you know what I'm saying? But do shout out to my boy Flaco for helping us tune the truck. Actually, both of the trucks. Both of them are running A1. So with that being said, guys, huge shout out to everybody. Everybody that helped me take the trucks over to Flaco's. Uh, Ulises, both of the ABs, Lo Waldo, Pollo, my pops. Uh... It's a mission, guys. It's pretty far, so uh, for them to be able to help us out, take some time out of their day, and come help us go over there, drop off the trucks, pick them up and everything, record and all that, uh, huge shout out to them, man. I owe y'all a lot, man. I owe y'all dinner or something. And not to mention that the day that we went to go pick them up, man, it was cold. We need a little bit of more sunshine in our lives over here, man. It was cold. It was gloomy. Poquito de sol no, no hiciera mal because it was cold, guys. So with that being said, man, thank you to everybody. Don't forget the giveaway is still going. It's going to end in February. Go cop your merch. We got some keychains coming out that my little girl made that y'all been asking for. I'm going to go ahead and order some more and put them on there. They should be here in about a couple of days, probably three to four days. They'll be on the website for you to go get them. www.thesetup.biz. Make sure you go get your merch, guys. Don't sleep on this truck. Now that it's Flaco 2 and this thing is running 8-1. So huge shout out to him, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one.